Welcome to Fire Emblem. After defeating the bandits, Lynn continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. <clears throat> the Ganelon bandits are in a rage after their brethren fell to Lynn's swords. They race in pursuit of the companions. Their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. Chapter 4, An Occupation Shadow. <clears throat> ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bed. This mildewy old fortress. Is this the best we can do? Come, Will. Surely you jest. Sorry, Sane. No. The bandits keep everything in turmoil around here. No one has time to worry about travelers. There are rather a lot of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyways? Not me. I prefer a place where I can feel the wind blow. As long as I'm at Lynn's side, I'll be fine. Besides, <coughs> being able to lay on the grass, See the stars. Oh, doesn't that sound like a wonderful cuddling place, Lynn? And for your protection, your manatarm sane will be half of my lady. <coughs> sane, you can watch the door, okay? Fuck you. Saying, you and I will remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Thank you, Kent. Ah, alas. Fuck you, Saying. Your pardon, my lady. Who's there? I forgive my intrusion. My name's Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Uh, uh. Are you alright? Hmm? Your leg. It's fine, don't worry. It's on a childhood sickness. I can't travel very far on it, but it doesn't trouble me much. What are you doing here all by yourself? I'm looking for my husband. I hear he was in this area. Oh, alright. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. That's kind of him. He left the village and hasn't returned. Ooh. He's a kind-hearted man, but I think he might be involved in something dangerous. Well, yeah! You do know what part of the world you're in, right? He, for all we know, he could be a bandit by now. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's poor likeness at best, but his name is Dorcas. Do you know of him? I'm sorry, I don't believe I've seen or heard of him. I see. If you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him. I promise. Here they are. We finally tracked down the band of defeated Miguel. So they've decided to hole up in this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait till it gets dark in then. You're an idiot! There are only a few of them, and some are women. We attack the that night, I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the women by mistake. It's true. I will not be so wasteful. You're right, Kachika. 
You're so smart. Well, avenge me go and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows, maybe I'll be a leader after all. Ha ha ha! Let's go. Spread out and encircle the place, you rogues. We'll finish this before it gets too dark to see. No, you're not! Hey, you, your name's Dorcas, right? <laughs> I totally did not make that joke on purpose, guys. I didn't know. You haven't done much since you joined us. Those weapons of yours aren't just for show. Today's the day to let us see what you can do. I need to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that and I'll increase your share of You want gold, you'll get the job done. Don't you want to know? It would break down these hearts. You <laughs> see me sing so low. Yeah, sorry if there was a small hiccup there. Someone came into my room. Lady Lindus. Outside the fortress. Bandits! What did you say? Persistent bunch, aren't they? What do you think? Shall we go and face them? I say you can go out and get yourself fucking killed for all I care, saying. Actually, no, I don't want that. You're halfway useful. No, Natalie cannot move well, and it would, and that would put her in danger. Let them come to us. We'll fight them here, within these walls. Deep so, take over. The command is yours. All we have to do is hold out until they tire and leave. Oh. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm you. Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. In this chapter, your goal is to protect a special carrier... Carrier? Character for a, for a set period of time. Keep Natalie safe for seven turns. Geekso, Natalie, and other green units are called NPCs. NPCs don't really do shit. Except for in certain missions where they fight on their own. But they move after enemies and before your turn. Geekso, this fortress has two entrances. That's where we must meet the enemy. I'll take the east door. Geekso, you and the others guard the main entrance. When the enemy far outnumbers your group, it's safer to restrict the battle to smaller areas. No matter how strong the enemy is, if he's attacked on all sides, he's sure to take massive damage. So the east door is Lynn's and the south door is everyone else's to guard. Select Lynn and move her to the space indicated on the cursor and have her wait. Well, yeah, but you see, there's this big thing over there that I kind of want Will to be safeguarding. Uh, fuck me, he's trying to Good. I think they're both using him. Nope. <laughs> she just goes, ah, nope. God. Nine minutes of mostly dialogue. Oh, Kent is using a lance. Lovely, that's not what I want for him. You, on the other hand, can suck my dick. By the way, sorry if I make some. Sorry if I make some really weird control options. I'm. I'm used to uh, awakening right now, so. Eh. Deek, so the fire just attacked me. 
doesn't look like the picture of Natalie's husband. Uh, yeah, okay, whenever there's a unique character, there's a chance you might be able to talk to him. It, the game will make it obvious if it's someone you can recruit, though, most of the time. Tell me, are you Dorcas? How did you know my name? Natalie told me. What are you doing with these rogues? I need money. That may be, but joining up with mercenaries? It's the only way to earn gold around these parts. Do anything. Goodness. For gold? Anything? And you would hurt your wife? Natalie is here. We're protecting her within this fortress. What? Natalie, she's here? She's so worried that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. <coughs> well, I understand. I can't do this. Done with these bandits, here and now. Really? Yes. And I would repay you for your kindness towards Natalie. Ugh, so many problems with this. I am so fucking sorry, guys. Ugh. If I knew video editing, I would fix it, but, yeah. Is there anyone in, If there's anyone who can teach me how to video editing, that'd be nice. But until then, we'll just do with my little hiccups. It's unprofessional, but I... I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Even after red. Right now, after all your units have moved, it automatically becomes the enemy's turn, right? Sometimes there are moments when you might not be able... Where you might not want or be able to move all your units. When it's bothersome to tell your... Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, it's just saying, if you want to be a lazy ass, just go... Just click on a... Empty... Uh, tile and select N and the turn ends. And it's like, okay. Now I have him doing that. Attack, Iron Sword, you. Insane and Kent are just sitting there like no fucks given. None at all. And no fucks for you. Attack me with all your might, warriors! May I strike you all down! Nope. Sane's just like, I don't care about your damage. Dude, not cool. What are you waiting for? She's just a child. A girl! Huh? Get more men up here now! Jesus, shit. You, sir, are an angry person. And you get an arrow to the face. Oh. The wall hold up long enough, I'm pretty sure. And you're dead. And you're dead. Oh, you live! That's interesting. Didn't think you'd live. And only one person. So wait. I probably won't use the end command too much, to be honest. Also, I need to pay attention to my health. Kent is getting low on health. Don't let me forget that. Nope. 
God, you actually have reasons to use Vulnaries in this game compared to Awakening. Because with Awakening, except on the higher difficulties, you really don't use your healing items. Or at least I don't. Kent heals. And then he waits. And then Sane attacks you. I. These videos get really long. Natalie! Is it you? Natalie, are you alright? What were you thinking coming out here all this way? I was worried about you. Please, don't let my leg trouble you anymore. You mustn't put yourself in such danger. Please. I'm sorry, but you must have been out of my head. I didn't realize that girl Lynn made me open my eyes. Lynn has brought you here? I'll explain later. We've got to drive back these bandits first. Listen, stay put. Don't move from me. Right, as long as you're here, I know I'm safe. And you're dead! Which does give me a turn, which does delay Will getting her to turn. Which is good. Let's see, Lynn doesn't need to heal. Alright, next turn. And more people come out to try and kick my ass. Why is she using the Manny Caddy? She should not be using the Manny Caddy. That's a boss weapon. Why is she using it? Did it auto-equip to her? I don't want that weapon breaking. That's a powerful weapon. I don't want that breaking until I get something stronger. And when I do get something stronger, I'll be using that instead. And by the way, Sane is actually pretty useful. It's like surprisingly useful. Lowers her crit and attack power, but it ups her hit rate. Which is what I really want. And here's to hoping she doesn't get, like, gimped by a crit or something. Put this. Wait. Move back here. And you die. And you wait. And she is getting healed next turn, no questions asked. Level up. Dorcas has a funny attack animation. <laughs> That's what I saw. No. Use Volnary. Ta 
back with iron bow. Let's see. Second to last turn. Good. Attack with iron axe. And double strike. Weapon level increased. Awesome. The bandits are getting more hesitant to attack me. They're just like, ah, oh, guys, I don't know if this is a good idea. And Lynn's just like, no fucks. And you get a sword to the face. And you get another sword to the face. Swords! Swords for everyone! Last turn. And I'm doing something that is tactically sound, though completely unnecessary. And you die. Anyone else? Are there any takers? Urgh. I want to continue. I want to sing. Like, I want to continue singing. You could, you each, you, but I shouldn't. By the way, if anyone's curious, look up Hayago Juichi 2003 by Lemon Demon. It is crack in the form of a song. Curses! They're not human! Listen up, rogues! Retreat! Pull back! The enemies fled! Dixo! We won! God, that was the fakest sound. Dorcas! Fuck. Sorry guys, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. <clears throat> Our village is close. I'll take Natalie home and return tomorrow. Hmm? Why can't we just say our farewells today? I... Oh, I spoke with Deep, so I've been invited to join your group. We're going to Lycia. I have to go somewhere to earn money. You think I'll be of use? I'd like to fight for you. You help my wife. I owe you. Focus. Please, Lynn, we are both in agreement in this. Watch over my husband. I shall not let you down. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue taking turns keeping watch. Please, rest easily. Is that alright? Are you sure, Sam? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Let me warn you. Bandits sneak up on you. They'll cut you down without mercy. Do you understand that? What? <laughs> Do you doubt my bravery? I, I am not. Am I not a knight? There is no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there's anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest assured. Really? Well. Good night, then. See you tomorrow, Dixo. Good night, my sweet. Let's go. <laughs> no one... Oh, no one ever trusts me. Poor Sane. Not really. Fuck him. Until next time.